Alright, hello once again you two, welcome back some more From the Depths. You may be going, Doug, what are these crafts? Like, this looks familiar, but upon closer inspection, the, the stripes are wrong and it's got uh, RAF markings. This is clearly an Avro Lancaster, an incredibly bright colour scheme. And, uh, well this is nothing like you've ever seen from me before, and that's because they're not mine. Um, since the last episode, which we recorded about four or five five days ago, I think, at this point. I'm not quite sure. Uh, a person, a fella called Revengeful Lobster, at least on his Discord, and I think maybe on the YouTube as well, uh, left a comment about potentially setting some stuff away or, or updating one of the bombers to a torpedo bomber, and he had. He actually showed up in the Discord and shared the files. We have a, we do have a community Discord. You can find it on the channel info if you want to join. So I figured, let's have a little look. Why not? So, first of all, this light bomber, as well as being modified a bit visually, I do like the uh, the World War II style like yellow tips on the uh, propellers uh, and the D-Day stripes and a few extra guns. Uh, I think that, I don't believe that was on there before, but yeah, this is a modified with detection now as well. A uh, light bomber, who got detection because he had it was tested in the main campaign that fires torpedoes and they actually kind of work. He, it, in testing, had the occasional jank angle where it still can confirm a hit. But it was a lot, lot better. He's also updated the gun to a more rapid firing cannon. Uh, so yeah, we have a torpedo bomber now. I'm probably going to actually use this in the campaign. So that's kind of cool. Next up, the Vulcan. Uh, this is just what he shared and said that I want to have a look at it. And I was like, pretty much like, yep. Yeah, that sounds good. Looks like very large missiles with a bit of jamming. Avoidance, maneuverable. Yeah, nasty bit of work, those, and it's carrying two of them. Uh, are these large or custom jets? These are custom jets, I think. Get some visuals done. Again, based on the Avro Vulcan. I've seen one of these in real life. They're, they're normally a sort of grey-blue colour or a sort of green camo colour, and I believe the one I saw was green. Uh, I actually saw uh, one of these when I was... Uh, me and my brother were doing car parking for a, a sort of a few days job at uh, Eastbourne Airborne, which is a big air show uh, not too far from where I live. And one came right over the hill, like sort of... Maybe that far above kind of thing, like, really close, very impressive. Had the landing gear down so you could see into it, very noisy. This thing, I believe, is the Cosilianth? Or co 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 I don't know quite how you pronounce it, it's, I believe it's named after a type of prehistoric fish. I think they even found, I think they found they weren't even, like, extinct, but they're like a very common early, I think, predator fish. Uh, and a very successful one, it had, um... Didn't have teeth, I believe, but it did have, like, uh, sharp, bony jaws. And I'm guessing this is the guy's magnum opus. I mean, look at the thing. Uh, yeah, jet propelled. I do like these custom fins. Multiple turrets. It's got these huge quad 500mm guns. These quad, quad 500mm, uh, not 500mm guns, but whatever they, what gauge are you? 200mm guns. Uh, is there any weapon in here? Missile launchers in here with some... EMP frag missiles. Fuel tanks at the front. That's an interesting setup, but I suppose if it works. A bit of a, uh, looks a bit like Daiguran. The, uh, cockpit. Yeah, and look at these interiors as well. This is something I, I spotted briefly. I think you can actually wander around the whole thing. So I dread to think how much effort it took to make this thing, uh, walkable. We've got, I'm assuming, some kind of flak turret. Not quite sure, but I'm assuming this is, oh, that's a railgun. Wow, that could even be a uh, APS. Nice looking bridge. Again, just a real nice looking creation. We've got, I believe these are laser turrets. Yep. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, laser planer. Let's, uh, let's spawn our good old mm, uh, enemy, the Megalodon, and see how they, they do against it. Uh, we will be going to, to building the battleship. Uh, in a brief moment, but I wanted to, to show off these, especially since we're thinking we'll use one of them. And uh, just throw a bit of love, since he's the, the first guy who's throwing me anything in terms of crafts. I believe this technically counts as, like, the first thing related to something I've done with, like, games or, or whatnot that, like, a community thing is made related to it. So I guess in a way this is, like, almost like my first fan art, that plane. Or, or something equivalent to... I'm seeing laser turrets. The poor old medium bomber is destroying all the fire. Why? Oh, shoot. It's crashed. Why is the medium bomber the one that the AI has decided has to die? 
I also noticed the uh, steam room and the big fish. That's quite cute. Oh dear, it looks like we've got an EMP detonation. Oh, that's probably the uh, thingy's missiles. Still, not too much actual damage caused. On either side of things, admittedly, but still. Vulcan's having a good run. Has it dropped missiles? Something's dropped missiles, at any rate. Not cluster missiles. No, they can't be cluster missiles, right? We looked at them. They're, uh... What was it? Explosive frag? Sorry, if I can't remember, my memory is uh, not known for being stellar. Raining down fire upon it. I think this is a battle that could last for uh, quite a while, so I'll leave it there. But as you can probably see, it looks pretty capable. I don't know whether it would be our, uh, our Manta. If you guys wanted to see that, <laughs> I guess we could do that. Our... Uh, our Magnum Opus, of course, at the moment still, in terms of our uh, vehicles. What would it what would it have been? Uh, no, Campaign. Yeah, Sky Mantra, of course, is our uh, greatest creation. It slowly loads. It's uh, a lot less pretty looking, but reasonably functional in practice. I don't believe we ever actually had to fight a uh, Megalodon with one of these in the campaign. I think the Megalodon, if I remember correctly, was knocked out by... Was it effectively getting drawn into the wrong spot, if I remember correctly? It ended up on the, um... It ended up getting killed by the whole, um... Damage in area territory thing. What do these things... What do these two cost compared to each other? 2.7 million, but it is carrying... I believe that fact is in the cost of the four Sky Rays it carries, so it's not... Yeah, it's not actually that much on its own. 1.7, so it is a lot cheaper as well. Given those are, what, 300,000 each, roughly? Is that right? What's the Sky Ray? Try to work out the cost on this thing. Capture model Sky Ray, 300,000. So that'd be, what, 12 million? So it's a bit more expensive than the Manta part of the Sky Manta, but cheaper than the whole package, and really it's a carrier. You run it as the whole package. I'm not doing this because I have to. I'm doing this because building a Megalodon makes me feel good, and also because I'd like to see... Um, I'd actually kind of like to see how the Manta's look in this red, because I... Oh, that is... I do like that. I can't deny I actually kind of do like that. Oh, uh, they got the tail stripes as well. Yeah, I like the mantas in red. Or the rays in red, rather. The blue is still their colour scheme, of course, but I do like the red. Okay. Back to the main menu. Brief distraction aside, and again, big thank you to... Uh, Vengeful Lobster, I think it was? Uh, for sending those in, seriously. If any of the rest of you guys want to send anything in, if just go ahead. Like either shuck a link on the in the comments or come join us on the Discord and throw a uh, a thing up. So throw, throw the files up. I'm happy to take a look. Right. For this one, for today, we're going to start on the battleship. Like I say, we're going to build a something between a light battleship and a heavy cruiser. I guess maybe. The German pocket battleships would be something roughly comparable. Actually, have they got any? I did look up some of them. So Scharnhorst, was that one of the ones that was a pocket battleship? That's about the right cost bracket, actually. About I wanted it to be around the 600,000 mark. Yeah, that's kind of right. Okay, so we'll use this as a rough baseline for what we're going to build. And we'll check what it's got in terms of armaments. So we actually spawn it on our team, then we can check it out. Um... We'll check it out properly and see what we sort of think we're going to build. Because this is a big build. We haven't done a battleship for a while. What is... What is going on here? What's with this sea fighting? Oh, I think they've, like, deco... Have they decoed the entire front of the deck? I think the entire... Yeah, the entire front of the deck's armor is false, basically. They've decoed in the wooden planks, but they haven't... They haven't raised them a tiny bit like you're supposed to. This this is called Z... For those who don't know games, uh, like, design and that, this is called Z-fighting. And this is basically a case of they're both... Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's gone now. Okay, maybe it's just because it loads... Oh, uh, it must have been where it's loading in. Yeah, that's a thing called Z-fighting where the game basically goes... Ah, you've put these at exactly the same height. I don't know which to render on top of the other. And then you get that happening because it's going... Well, which of these is supposed to show up? And it's like, I don't know. They're both exactly the same, but there's like tiny, tiny little like errors in the numbers, so it, it doesn't display properly. Okay, so it looks like we have... 
we've got what three of these main turrets they are equipped with triple 280 millimeter guns at 25 shots a second uh shots a minute fire rate cool okay what type of shell are you firing so again we know what a rough coolant is i do like how they've done the barrels they've decoed the barrels with um they've done this sleeve a bit yeah so they've like used larger barrels to deco them into nice looking cannons uh if i can see it through all the armor hang on p oh right they're solid we won't be able to see them um i think we can open up the shell somewhere right uh we can but we need to go to the right thing don't we um this thing does look to be also very very solid interested to know how this thing floats because look how much armor there is we're going to try and replicate that a bit because that seems to work edit oh hollow point rounds okay hollow point and saber warhead bodies what do these do four thousand thump damage 37 ap so those will nearly those that's very nearly enough to get decent damage against metal i think probably most of the time that will do pretty much full damage Sixteen thousand. Oh god, 165,000. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty powerful. Okay. Then we've got these secondary guns, which are... How many of those have it got? It's got two quad turrets. Are these the same gauge? 150. 150. So it's got two... So it's got four quad secondary guns and four single secondaries at 150. I'm guessing... What are these on with? Right, intakes. Squash head. Oh, so they're Hesh rounds. Okay. It was that 7 HE and a squash head, and they will do. Okay. That seems good, I think. So they've got squash secondaries, thump primaries, which is interesting, but they should strip away armor. 105 dual purpose with flak. Okay. I need flak explaining it's a flak gun. Uh, are these functional? These are functional. It's got torpedoes. Oh, yeah. What do they do for their torpedoes? Prediction guidance, fins, propeller, ballast tank, processor. Processor? Really? Processor? Why does it need a signal processor? There's no jamming in this campaign, is there? Is there jamming? Fins at the front and torpedo sum. Uh, okay, so pretty maneuverable. Nothing too weird. They're not that different to what we fire. Anti-air all over the shop. Uh, large spotlight. Look at this. Even the... These smokestacks armed. <laughs> this is a real one as well. The Shanos are real shit. Well, I mean, they, they all are, obviously, but... Or were, at least, but... That's a radar, I guess. Okay. Armor. This is the bit that scares me a bit, because we never normally build armor this thick. So I think... This looked like it had an all-or-nothing protection scheme. Yeah, I think that's right. So it's thin at the... Oh, my... Is this just solid? What is this? Why is it so thick at the bottom? Is that for torpedoes? It's almost a solid block apart from this little, like, internal space. What in... Is this alloy? Is that how it floats? Is it just crammed full of buoyant alloy? I might just say that, but they've got propellers as well. What are these doing? Pusher preset. Yeah, so it is actually also being held up by propellers. <laughs> what is this layout? Okay. Yeah, look at this. Around the gun, it's just solid. Uh, and, yep, yeah, they're doing the meta thing. It's got, um... Uh, it's got uh, beams to find an air gap. That makes it even more durable. Um, oh, my lord. Look at this. Citadel armoring. I think that is. Yeah, honest to god, Citadel armoring. Uh, around, like we do on the cruiser? I think one of our ships has that. Around the engine. Yes, uh, so it's fuel engine. Okay. We'll be sticking with steam. I like doing steam on it. It feels like it's a functional ship. Um, yeah, jeez. Secondary engine, tertiary engine. Ammunition magazine, surrounded by heavy armor by the look of it. Okay, makes sense. And an additional layer of light. Turret wells, set another magazine. Then there's the guns. Yeah, and they're using motors. So there's less space dedicated to a massive boiler, but... Oh boy, this is going to be a big project, isn't it? And we're trying to do something about the same cost, so... Okay. Oh, and the other thing we need to check is the scale of it. 
I adjust my slight janky chair right. Length 236, width 33, height 60. Okay. It's big. It's not enormous, not hyper enormous. Let's have a look at the hull shape on this thing as well. Is it pretty much flat? at the bottom yeah it's just rounded off a little bit at the bottom and it's pretty much sheer sides okay that's nice and easy to replicate this is not so much but we can we can work out something okay so it's not too bad a shape to make so we'll start with that those overall dimensions so if we do if we do 230 by 33 worry about the height later actually height looks like it's about half the ship so i'd say about height about 30 so if we do 230 by 30 by 30, that should... Or by 33 by 30, so... So... Got 33, there we go, easy. Right. And if it's... If we go for about 230, it needs to be... What? 165, and then we go the other way. Oh, shoot. I'm looking at the wrong number. We'd already easily hit that. Okay, and about the same back the other way. Is it really that big? No, it's 230. I am going way too big. That's fine. We can... It's not 330. Okay, so that's about right. We're actually almost dead on, I think. So this says... 02... 021 uh pocket Whoop. pocket balance that's saved in the wrong place isn't it that is entirely saved in the wrong place um greatest air campaign pocket balance okay oh it's, it's got the wrong number as well now hasn't it yep it's not the 21 it's the 12 Right. Oh, the other thing is, yeah, as I said, there's a single thing there. Let's uh, re-do this and put the thing in the middle where it's supposed to be. Okay. Let's get the width up to 33. We'll square it off. Uh... work out the curve for this thing roughly work out what shape it's going to be we go. Uh, it's not ideal but okay right and then down to 30 ish Okay, right. So, save that. Front to the other end, right? Yep. We'll work out the curve on that, and we'll go from there. So, yeah. And do we want this to be a curve that's got a double curve on it? Probably, right. some of our ships have because we had uh, the cruiser was a little on the square side when I sort of looked at it again doesn't look awful but it could look better than that Oop. really it should be curved most of the way through its shape really I think a lot of the real ones uh one thing I will do that's going to be different... Oh, we've been loading this out of alloy. Oh, this should be metal. 
One thing I will do that's going to be different. That uh, One thing I did note with that was that it had a layer of heavy armor, but it was something like the second layer uh, of the armor sort of scheme was, was heavy. I'm going to put the heavy armor in the middle, because that means we have the least of it, and in theory it protects the most stuff. Like the very thinnest layer, when things are at their worst, is the toughest kind of thing. Oh, that's my train of thought there anyway, so we are going to do that a bit differently, but I might be somewhat copying their armor scheme, or at least in something quite similar. Don't know whether we'll do an air gap or whether we'll just invest in an even tougher hull, but... Leave a gap and we can get even shallower, effectively. Things don't hit the midway part, it's about right. And if this one is three... I think it's the last one. Oh, look at that. Dropped off perfectly. Yeah, that looks pretty alright, at least from above. Looks like a nice curve we've got there on the ship. Paint the vehicle. Let's also replace these as we go along. And we'll do the same from the back, but it'll be a shallower curve. Might even go, yeah, something like that. Oh, what's this? Okay, let's put one of those there again. We'll, we'll probably be rebuilding a lot of this frame to actually fit everything. Uh, so if we start with three, and then yeah, then we shallow out quickly on this one. In fact, that's too tight. If anything, I think we start with a three, not a four. Two of those like that, and then we go. So I cut off too much commentary here because this is just something I've. In terms of shaping hulls, it's kind of difficult to explain without just sort of having a little bit of a, a go yourself and working out kind of how to shape them. But we're trying to do a gradually, like lightening curve again, like we did at the front. Or lightning's the wrong word. What do I mean? I don't know what I mean. Shallowing, maybe. I don't know the, the words for it necessarily. Right, there we go. Shall this is still hanging on? Probably because of that. Yep. That's does that look right? Something about that curve doesn't something about the way that one ends doesn't look right. Yeah, it looks a little better. For some reason, that looks better. I don't know if it's maybe because I've already got one of them and it doesn't... No, it looks too... No, that doesn't look right. There. Why does that not look right? Because the other one's just smoother? I don't know. It might be because it's thinner anyway. It doesn't look quite right yet, but... We'll go with the two. Should, in theory, be right, but... Let's see if that works out in practice. Okay. We'll build the armor one layer thick, and then we'll actually do... We'll actually go through and thicken it all out. And we'll also go... There. Yeah, especially on the outer walls, I definitely want it to be thicker than that. we just put a four in on these ones, so it's getting thicker. Let's be a bit careful where, where the weight gets concentrated, but... Like that, it looks too thick. Not by much. I think if we swap that for three, that looks all right. Mm, again, might be a bit we have to rework, but right. Let's do. Well, no. Okay, we need to leave that on there because that's apparently giving us the width of the whole thing, or the right curve for the whole thing. Let's also save the vehicle quickly. to change. We could... Yeah, we'll have the angle change halfway down. Oh no, that's wrong. It should be shallower at the top. 
Okay, been, a, been a while since I've had to do this, so. Let's go down four with that, and then we go to three. Then we do three of these. And we can go four. Just go until we hit the bottom. Yep, yeah, even then have it shallow out to do a uh, curve at the bottom. Here we go. I don't want to leave that on for the sake of. We'll leave that on for the sake of that, but we'll cut it off at the top here. That ain't right. Is it another two? Oh, it's four of those. Then it's three of these. Gotcha. And then dip, dip, dip. Uh, two. Better cut it off. It is. So I can't do that just yet. Right. A bit of curve in front of the ship. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine because we'll put in the we'll put in a new kill. Right, it's actually made of the right stuff as well. And these are the back. I believe we will need the. Out as well, that's fine. The back, I believe, we will need the transition slopes for, and I've got to try and remember how we use these now. It's not these, it's these ones I think we were using before. Is that right? No, it's the offset corners, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's right. <coughs> oh dear. Oh, the pun the YouTube. Uh, yeah, two more to the left. Yeah, that's right. And three meters. Sure, what kind of curve we're going to end up with here, but we're going to end up with one. Especially here where it's actually narrowing out. Right, so I guess we want the two meter offset. I see there may be an issue here. Like one, we need a two to two, I guess. Do we? Hang on. There isn't a two to two, is there? Um, is that an equivalent of? A one to two. Oh God! How do I do this? Using some of the more standard parts of this. Um, I mean, with these, the nice thing is you can do the nice big vertical slope. I don't know. You can do like that.
We keep doing this. There may be more than one episode just on the whole with this one because I think this is going to be complicated shape wise. Uh, oh, that's not right. Uh, that's three then. Oh dear. Is that a four already and that's the problem? It's a four already and that's the problem. Okay. I'm not quite sure what we're getting here, but we are getting a shape. Hmm. Oh dear. Again, big sneeze. Right. Um, I might even cut the episode here and just do some work on this off camera because I think this might take a while. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. I've definitely enjoyed myself getting a look at the uh the things you've made, uh, lobster. So thank you for sending them over. Again, any of the rest of you guys, you got something you want to show off? One setting you'd like uh all of YouTube to see? By all of YouTube, I mean the roughly what four hundred or so people that see a fair few of the vids these days. Send them over. Come join the Discord. You can come chat. You can, if you want to get any insights into what I'm working on in terms of the game, you can ask away. Happy to chat with you guys. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.